Welcome into the channel, guys. My name is Zillin. If you're new to the channel, welcome in. I hope you really like Ashes of Creation because that's pretty much all we do here. Uh, today, I want to talk about the Alpha 2 test that, well, we hope is upcoming, but who knows, uh, and and all the information that I've gathered over the last, uh, let's say, six weeks or so. Um, I took a break from pretty much everything Ashes related except for the live streams because I, I had to, to you know, pay attention to those. Obviously, it's important to me. Uh, but for a few reasons we're not going to get into, I kind of took a break and got away from everything. And then when I came back, I started talking to people again and just trying to figure out what was going on in the, in the ashes world. And man, let me tell you guys, I heard some crazy stuff, like some just absolutely insane stuff. Um, but through talking to a lot of different people, I think I was able to come up with some information that I think is fairly solid and I'm combining, you know, kind of rumors with a little bit of inside information or people who claim to have inside information along with my own just knowledge of game development and how things go testing and all that stuff which i will admit intrepid does things differently than other game studios do so my knowledge of how these games are developed and built over years actually is not it actually hasn't helped me very much in predicting what Intrepid is going to do. So keep that in mind as you're watching this video. And one other thing to please keep in mind is I'm going to let you guys know I have not talked to a single Intrepid employee about Ashes of Creation at all, about the development of the game at all. I have no firsthand knowledge. This is all secondhand, thirdhand, four, more hands, way like talking to people who, you know, what, what's the saying? I know some people who know some people who rob some people. That's what we're talking about here. So just keep that in mind uh, as we as we go here. Um, I'm going to start off with some things that are uh, more known. That's kind of like a duh situation. And we're going to progressively move towards the things uh, that are less known. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the release date uh, that has kind of been speculated and thrown around by quite a lot of people. And we're going to kind of work that out a little bit. Uh, so to start off with, let's talk about the classes that are going to be in the game. If you go over to the Ashes of Creation wiki and look at the Alpha 2 page there, uh, you will find that it says all of the classes will be there. All the base archetypes will be there. And then some of the secondary classes um, will be there in Alpha 2. I actually don't think that's the case. Just reading the tea leaves a little bit here. Um, I don't think that's going to be the case. I think that you're going to have the four that we know about, Tank, cleric mage and ranger which is supposed to be getting shown off in this next uh this next live stream um and that at the start that's what it's going to be and i think that that section of of the wiki where it talks about what all is expected to be in the alpha 2 i think that stuff is by the end of alpha 2 not necessarily at the start of alpha 2 i think that's really important that we make that distinction there so i think we're going to start with those four classes and more will get added a little later on uh, and then I want to move on to the map size. Uh, Narc talked about this here very recently. He had a, spec a speculation that's very, very similar to what I think, which is more or less that, yes, the size of the map in Alpha 2 is going to be bigger than what we were originally told, or originally expected. But again, just like the classes, I think that they are going to start with a smaller section of the map than what what we were just told recently it's going to be even smaller than that maybe even smaller than what the original alpha 2 map size was supposed to be and then grow from there as they add uh, more things more biomes and more areas points of interest dungeons all those types of things so that's kind of that's from listening to some people and just making some inferences uh, trying to figure out exactly what is going to happen with with the uh, map size so the next thing i want to get into uh, is how the Alpha 2 test is going to be run. And to me, this is the most interesting part of this because I have actually heard two different people, both who basically claim to have inside information, talk to people, what, whatever, claim that they know things. Two different people um, who have given me two different descriptions of what they have been supposedly told that the Alpha 2 test is going to be run like. The first one is to that you should look at it like an early access, like a Steam early access game. They're going to get the game to a point at which it is playable and then and have enough content to keep people at least somewhat interested because you can't you can't have like one day's worth of content. You need quite a bit of content. And then they're going to be taking constant feedback from the the testers, the players, us, and then iterating on things 
adding new things to the game. So, you know, we'll, we'll launch with, with, you know, whatever the craft version of crafting that there was in alpha one, but maybe three months into alpha two, they'll finally put in the, the crafting system. Um, and then, you know, maybe they'll iterate on it a little bit or whatever. And we'll launch with just the ability to sail boats, uh, and eventually they're going to add in the ability to create the boats and and fight with the boats and, you know, all those those types of things. So they'll be uh, it'll it'll work like an early access where they're slowly adding content over time. And then once that content is in the game, they will change it based on player feedback and that sort of thing. That's how it'll be done. Now, the second way is a lot different. It's a more of a modular approach. So the second way I was told that it could happen, um, or I guess technically I was told that somebody else was told this is the way it would happen. Who knows? Uh, is that we'll launch with what we launch with. Let's let's say uh, there's no crafting at all at launch. And then whatever, two months into launch of Alpha 2, they're going to add in a crafting system. And we're going to have this crafting system and it's going to be in the game for another two months. And then they're going to pull the, the crafting system out of the game entirely. There'll be no crafting system and they're going to put in naval combat. And so then they're going to take the crafting system back to the drawing board or toward, you know, whatever, based on player feedback and figure out what exactly they want to do with the crafting system based on what we've said while we are testing naval combat. And then at some point they're going to pull the naval combat out for a few months or whatever, and they're going to put in the religious system that we don't really know anything about. And we're going to test that for a little while. And we're not going to have access to crafting or naval combat. And then eventually they'll put crafting back in. And then we'll have maybe maybe we'll have the religious system and crafting, but still not have naval combat just based on player feedback. If we liked it, if they needed to iterate on it, those types of things. So it'll be a much more modular approach where it'll actually be a testing phase rather than an early access phase where we will have something we're supposed to be testing because we won't actually have access to these other parts of the game that might be what you're actually interested in or what you want to actually progress on. Uh, so that's what I've been told. So it, it, for those of you who are in Alpha 2 or those of you who are excited to watch your favorite creators uh, play Alpha 2, keep that in mind that that may be how the testing goes. We will see. But that's what I've been told. I will tell you that I lean more towards the second uh, system that I that I uh, uh, laid out there for you guys, um, mostly because it is out of the box. It's a different way of doing it. And in my experience so far, Intrepid tricks me every time because I'm thinking that they're going to act like, uh, you know, another MMO developer that I've dealt with in the past. And they don't. They end up acting like, you know, this this new entity uh, that we're not used to uh, dealing with yet. So my guess is it'll be the second version, um, which which will be less fun. Uh, but if it ends up getting the, the game launched like we really want, then, you know, I, I'm, I'm all for it. Um, so the last thing we're going to talk a little bit about is the release date for Alpha 2. Um, if you've been paying any attention to Ashes of Creation for like the last, let's say, six weeks, um, you probably have heard this date. I know Narc mentioned it in one of his videos. Um, I've seen a couple of other creators mentioned in their videos. I've seen it mentioned in several discords that I'm in. Um, and that date is, I'm, I, I'm guessing you already know, it's March 2023. I have heard that a bunch of times, and I'm definitely one of those where there's smoke, there's fire type of people. Like, why are we hearing this date over and over and over again? Uh, and where, you know, where could it possibly have come from except for somebody got told something and then spilled the beans, and now it's kind of like, you know, working its way through <laughs> through the community, um, which is entirely possible. Um, so instead of sitting here telling you, you know, Oh, I, I've heard that it's March 2023 too. I, I actually haven't, other than just other people just saying it randomly, not not actually to me. Um, so, you know, I, I don't have any any inside information at all when it regards to that. But what I thought I would do was go back and look at the timeline leading up to the Alpha One launch, and it's very very interesting. So we started or Alpha One was announced on May 10th. And the start of Alpha One was July 14th. So right at three months, right at three months between the announcement and the start of the test. 
They said, hey, we're going to start testing in July, and then they test started testing in July. That's how that works. So three months. Okay. And then if you go back from there, we started spot testing for Alpha 1 in March 19th. So again, right at three months before the announcement of the test. And Steven has already said in one of the recent live streams that you'll know when the Alpha 2 test is going to be starting. We're going to have to start announcing it. It's going to be coming when we start spot testing. So if you go back just a little bit before that March 19th that we started spot testing for Alpha 1 that I just talked about, there were people who were testing the game privately. People who were specifically invited to come and come test the game before the alpha one official spot test. So you're looking at a couple of months before that they were doing it. And then, then they, then they started the spot testing. And then three months later, they had the announcement. And then three months later it started. So here's the thing. I have heard rumors from about 25 different people that people are privately spot testing for alpha two right now. So if that's the case, you're talking about an a announcement for the launch of Alpha 2 at the December live stream. So end of the year, Christmas, my buddy Vladis, which is, I'll, I'll put a link to his uh, channel in the bottom. If you haven't checked out Vladis, you definitely should go do that. Um, he's been screaming Christmas for a Christmas present for us all uh, for a while now. And then a three months later, March of 2023. So from a timing perspective, it adds up. Exactly. Like it follows right along with where we are right now. If it is true that there are people who are privately spot testing Alpha 2 right now. So you guys can take that with a grain of salt uh, because all of this is innuendo, rumor, inside information, uh, alleged inside information. Uh, so you guys can take that how, however you want to take it. It's just information that I wanted to present to you guys because I do think that we are on the verge of an announcement for Alpha 2. It may not be March 2023. It may be more like quarter two, the end of quarter two type of uh, situation for it. But the timing as far as how the, the announcements and everything went with Alpha 1 lines up perfectly. So March 2023, maybe we're all playing and washing, uh, washing? My English good, uh, watching Alpha 2. So that would be really awesome. All right, guys, that's really all I have for the video today. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.